Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep, and today we're going to dive into an exciting and crucial subject, FDA regulations for maintenance. In this video, we'll explore the critical role of the Food and Drug Administration in protecting public health and safety, the importance of maintenance in FDA-regulated facilities, and the current good manufacturing practices, or CGMP guidelines. We'll also walk through what to expect during FDA inspections and how to prepare accordingly. Stick around to gain valuable insights and tips to help your maintenance and operations teams thrive. Let's dive into the fascinating world of FDA regulations for maintenance. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, plays a crucial role in safeguarding public health. They ensure that our food, cosmetics, dietary supplements, and drugs are safe, wholesome, sanitary, and properly labeled. They also make sure that biological and medical devices intended for human use are safe and effective. Other responsibilities include protecting the public from product radiation, regulating tobacco products, and advancing public health by speeding up product innovations. All these categories fall under what we call FDA-regulated products. The FDA inspects manufacturers or processors of these products to make sure they're following all the relevant regulations or guidelines. They don't just inspect manufacturing sites, but also facilities that conduct clinical trials, labs that conduct biological studies for FDA approval of a medical product, and imported products at the border. These inspections can be for pre-qualification, routine inspection, or for cause to investigate a specific problem reported to the FDA. Now let's talk about the role of maintenance in FDA-regulated facilities. The FDA ensures the quality of FDA-regulated products by closely monitoring manufacturing or processing site compliance with its current good manufacturing practices, or CGMP, regulations. There are specific CGMP regulations for each product category, which can be found under Code of Federal Regulations Title 21. Here are a few examples. CFR 21 Part 110, CGMP in Manufacturing, Packing, or Holding Human Food, CFR 21. Part 111, CGMP in Manufacturing, Packaging, Labeling, or Holding Operations for Dietary Supplements, CFR 21 Part 211, CGMP for Finished Pharmaceuticals. Each of these parts is further broken down into subparts, which list specific requirements. The main roles of the maintenance department can be found in subparts that focus on buildings and facilities and equipment. For example, under the parts we listed, we have CFR 21, Part 110, Subpart B and C, Buildings and Facilities and Equipment, CFR 21, Part 111, Subpart C and D, Physical Plant and Grounds and Equipment and Utensils, CFR 21, Part 211, Subpart C and D, Buildings and Facilities and Equipment. These CGMP guidelines help a site produce clean, safe, properly labeled, and effective products. The actual requirements focus on facility design, equipment, and procedures that promote cleanliness and organization, similar to lean principles. Here are some CGMP guidelines and specific ways that maintenance contributes to compliance. For example, the grounds about a food plant should be kept in a condition that will protect against contamination of food. This can be done through removal of litter and waste, proper maintenance of roads and parking lots, and adequately draining and drying areas that may contribute to foodborne filth or provide a breeding ground for pests. Plant buildings and structures should be suitable in size, construction, and design to facilitate maintenance and sanitary operations for food manufacturing purposes. This includes providing sufficient space for placement of equipment and storage of materials, creating proper partitions within the plant, and maintaining correct airflow and enclosed systems where applicable. All plant equipment and utensils should be designed and of such material as to be adequately cleanable and properly maintained. Maintenance teams need to coordinate with MRO buyers to purchase the correct equipment, establish clear cleaning procedures, and keep any food contact surfaces in proper repair to minimize accumulation of particles, dirt, or organic materials to minimize growth of microorganisms. You also need to keep proper records of written procedures for cleaning the physical plant and for pest control. This involves creating a formal facility maintenance program with clear responsibilities, frequency of cleaning and procedures, and partnering up with a pest control service that satisfies the CGMP requirements. Automatic, mechanical, and electronic equipment are allowed for use. If such equipment is used, it should be routinely calibrated, inspected, or checked. 
Establish a written program designed to assure proper and consistent performance. Documentation of those checks, inspections, and routine maintenance must be kept ideally with a CMMS. It's important to note that the FDA, through CGMP regulations, tells you what is required, but does not tell you how to meet those requirements. It is up to the organization to decide on procedures and policies that are applicable to their facility. When preparing your facility for an audit, the most simple requirements to keep in mind are to show what maintenance you perform through documentation. So what can you expect during FDA inspections? They're typically conducted by reviewing systems which correspond to the subparts that are applicable to the type of product or facility being audited. In the case of maintenance, subparts for buildings and facilities and equipment are of the main concern. An FDA inspection is defined as an audit covering two or more systems, with audit of the quality system being a hard requirement. Different numbers of systems may be covered depending on the nature of the inspection. During an inspection, FDA auditors document findings with the intent of verifying that a manufacturing site is operating in a sufficient state of control by reference to CGMP regulations. Any non-compliances are documented accordingly to support necessary corrective action. An example of an observation that maintenance should address is contaminated equipment or poorly maintained facilities. Documentation with photos is also a common practice. At the end of each inspection, a formal closeout is conducted to review findings and recommendations. Auditors may or may not provide their initial recommendations during a closeout meeting. However, organizations can expect a copy of the formal inspection report to be delivered within a few weeks after the inspection. Any negative findings may result in different actions ranging from a simple corrective action report to a warning letter or prosecution. And that brings us to the end of our video. We hope you found this exploration of FDA regulations for maintenance insightful. We've covered the role of the FDA, the importance of maintenance in FDA regulated facilities, and the CGMP guidelines. Remember, staying compliant is not only about following rules, but also about ensuring the safety and well-being of the public. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. For more resources and tools to help your maintenance and operations teams, visit our website at upkeep.com. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.